Good morning, everybody. Good morning to you all. This is a special message for the Haitian people and anyone else who speaks English. Anyone else who cares, who genuinely cares about the state of Haiti, about the state of life of the Haitian people, there are questions we can ask. That's what I do. I'm an author. I ask the tough questions. So one of the tough questions that I always ask, are Haitian traditions surviving modernization? Are the traditions of Haiti surviving modernity? We the Haitian people, are we responsible for our traditions surviving modernization? Unfortunately, 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 when Haitians or when Haitian governance decide to change Haiti or to modernize Haiti, the focus is never on bettering the Haitian people. The focus is always on the roads, on the buildings, on the constructions, on the foreign existence, on the foreign occupation, on the foreign, I would say, foreign comfort. Haiti, the, modern, the modernization of Haiti is to make foreigners comfortable. Unfortunately, the modernization of Haiti is not to make better Haitians. It's not to create Haitians who can help themselves. That's what a better Haitian means. Do we care what that Haitian does in his or her private life for as long as it does not interfere with our public activities? We don't. The modernization of Haiti does not mean making better Haitians. Making better Haitians means first and foremost educating the Haitian, developing the Haitian, making the Haitian a valuable tool for his or her country. The most valuable, important tool for Haitian modernization is a better Haitian, but that is not the focus of modernization when it comes to Haiti. Modernization means let us create everything we can to make foreigners comfortable. It's not even to make Haitians who live inside Haiti comfortable. It's to make foreigners comfortable. So the modernization of Haiti does not account for the survival of Haitian traditions because the modernization of Haiti means that the Haitians who have made it can always brag about what foreign substance they inject, what foreign businesses they support, what foreign labels they wear, and what foreign habits they embody. So not only are they becoming better Haitians by running away from Haitian traditions, they are becoming better Haitians by profiling images that are not traditional. We are not all living traditional lives. I don't know anyone, even inside Haiti, who is living a traditional life, but we have general traditions that should survive modernization. Those are the general traditions that, if you take an example like a country like Japan, Japan had to keep something Otherwise, China would have swallowed it. Even in the, in the modernization of time, you got to keep something for yourself. We are not walking around wearing Carabela dresses and red scarves. We are, we are not doing it. We are not walking around with baskets of fruits. We are not tableaus. But we have a tradition. And the question that is very, very important is the question of survival. Can our traditions survive the modernizations of this country? Because the modernization of the country does not depend on the building of the people. Look at a country like Cuba. We'll take a closer example to home. Cuba is minutes away. You can swim to Cuba. Haitians do it. I'm sure they've done it. Now that we have social media, we hope to get a new picture of it. But the reality of it is that Cuba decided to meet modernization by making a valuable Cuban, by focusing on building a Cuban, on giving him the tools, him and her, him or her, the tools to be ready for globalization, to be ready to have access to a global economy, to have access to global health, to be able to meet the standards of health. Are Haitian traditions surviving modernizations? That, those, that, 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 those answers are not up to the Haitian. They're not up to the Haitian. Let me tell you why. Because look at the country. The country is just a piece of land, a bunch of rivers, dirt, stones. Like me, I walk a lot. I walk with the Bonjour Webbins, Bonjour Mathieu. I walk a lot in the mountains, in the mountains where you have to hike. When you look, when you really, when you hike mountains, you realize the earth is just a big piece of stone, 
a big rock. So Haiti, the land, is just a big rock of, of pieces of dirt, rivers and sea waters, basically. So how do we modernize pieces of land, rocks, dirt, rivers? How do we do that without involving the people? How do we do that? Because the people themselves, they have become not concerned. It is the not me movement. When it comes to participating in the modernization of their own country, the Haitian people have taken it to mean something else. You don't have to wear the same clothes as everybody else to meet modernization. You don't have to act like other women from other countries to meet modernization. You don't have to adopt the negative mannerisms of popular culture. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have, if you don't have investment in the people, the popular cultures of the world will swallow your own traditions. Because those are the popular cultures that make an impression. I'm going to try to say this using less complicated words. I'm, I'm really going to try to speak. My goal is always to reach the fifth grader. When I speak, I don't want to alienate anyone. I want to speak and I want to reach everybody. I want to reach a fifth grader. I want to reach a 10th grader. I want to reach a universitarian. I want to reach someone who's in the academia. I want to reach someone without any type of literacy. Someone who can just understand the language. You can understand what I'm speaking about. You can understand what I'm asking of you. And this morning, I'm not asking anything of you. I'm actually speaking answers to you because the questions that I ask about my country are questions that we should all be asking about our country. This is all our legacy, but it does not mean the same to all of us. The reason why it doesn't mean the same to all of us is because we are not all the same bloodline of Haitians. When, I'm going to give you a very simple example of what I mean. When you look at West Africa, you have to ask, why aren't those West Africans able to govern their own countries because they are not of the bloodline, of the dirt, of the land, of the rocks? They don't have divinity on that land. They don't have true legacy on that land. How can they govern that land when it is stolen property? So that is why we have the Quachokor babies, we have the Niger babes, we have the criminal activities, and that is the existence of West Africa. But when you look also on the same parallel, when you look at these sections of Haiti, in the basin of Artibonite, the basin of Artibonite, they are the same divinations of slaves. These are the new arrivals of the 1700s. They behave the same, they carry the same destructive mannerism, and the ground upon which they exist cannot flourish. The ground upon which they exist cannot flourish because they don't have divination on that land. It is not their property, it is not their land. The gods of the lands do not agree with these folks. They cannot manifest their destiny on land which does not belong to them. That is some alien crap. If you think you can manifest your destiny on a land that is not of your divinity, you're an alien. <laughs> That's just a joke. You could be an alien. Back to the subject of, of the matter. When you are speaking about Haitian responsibility, Haitian responsibility, if you have it, it will help uphold your tradition. But upholding tradition is not the, the responsibility of one individual. It's the responsibility of a society. It's the, it's the responsibility of a collective body of persons. We all have responsibilities to do it. So, when it comes to Haitian modernization, the first group, the, first, the most important treasure are the people of Haiti. Why aren't the people of Haiti, the, 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 I would say, why aren't they the prime investing, I would say the prime businesses to invest in? Why aren't they the focus of development? Why are we building emerbs? Why, build, why are we focusing on construction? Why are we focusing on making foreigners comfortable when we should focusing on building Haitians? Because right now, Haitian traditions are not surviving modernizations. Because for the Haitian who becomes educated, it's a false mirror. It's a false mirror because the, that, the, 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 
the, mo the morality of that education is not Haitian based. The core of that, of that education is not Haitian sovereignty. The core of that education of most educated Haitians, they want to serve a foreign entity. They don't want to serve their country because when you serve your country, your country does not value you. So for the Haitians who have become educated, for the Haitians who have attained some sort of, of rich, rich, richness, I would say maybe wealth, their goal, their primary goal is to keep their status and to keep their status they have to serve foreigners because when they serve as foreigners they become important not just to the foreigners and not just to the people around them they become important to Haitians because Haitians are not judging the reality of their existence because if they were judging the reality of their existence they would understand that they are the primary the primary the primary investment is you the primary investment are your children you the primary investments are not buildings. We don't have to build 50 more bootleg schools. We can build two good schools that can service everyone in the area instead of building 50 bootleg schools. For Haitian traditions to survive, the education of the Haitian has to make real sense. It has to bear logic. It has to bear not objectivity, but it has to be a patriotism that is not confused with self-interest. It has to do it. It has to do it. So, I don't need to ask you to guess what. That is not what mature people do. I'm not going to be having a conversation with you and I'm going to say to you, guess what? Well, how are you supposed to guess? How are you supposed to guess? What don't I just tell you? Let me tell you something. What? Haitian tradition is losing. Haitian tradition is really struggling because the people who say they are the bearer or they are the pillars or they are carrying on the traditions, they are acting in self-interest. It's always for the benefit of their pockets. It's always for the upliftment of their social ranking. It's always for something outside of the country's interest. And so I have to tell you, the Haitian traditions cannot exist without the Haitian people. And if the Haitian people are fading away, then the traditions are fading away with the people. It is a direct relationship. When the traditions, when the people go, the traditions go with the people. If you don't pay attention to focus on what matters for your country, and I'm telling you, the Haitians who are very popular, the Haitians who are in the government, the Haitians who have the money to change Haiti, they don't have the type of education that has enough logic to deal with the issues. Because when you go to the country, when you go inside the country that we call Haiti, you can see the defectiveness within the people. You can see how the people have given up on their own lifestyles. Because right now it's all about appearances. And if you can appear foreign then someone can give you value. Haiti, the Haiti that we know, that is known to be a country of melanin, right now, a person like me, a leader like me, an author like me, with dark skin, is not respected because of my dark skin, because I look like the image the people want to escape. Imagine a person is running away from dark skin, and here I am, proud of my dark skin. It's not going to work out. It's not going to mix. That tradition is not going to last. The reason why Haiti is crumbling is because you are dealing with... It's a variety of bloodline. It's a variety of blacks. In addition to the variety of blacks, where we already had made a Creole alliance with the natives of America, with the engines and our ancestors, but in the 1700s, we got bombarded with new slaves. These new slaves were the Hebrew slaves. Those are the same slaves that bombarded West Africa after we got coup d'etat. It's not the same history if you don't understand the geography of your bloodline. Your bloodline started somewhere where you have your divinity, where you have ancestry. You can walk around the world like a lost Jew. It's not going to solve any problem. It's going to amount to more troubles. The traditions of Haiti cannot survive without a Haitian who is logically planted and grounded in reality. Being educated, being an educated Haitian does not mean that, oh, because such governor gave me an award, then I'm an educated Haitian. No, it doesn't mean that. 
Because that same governor who gave you an award, you don't know what he does when he goes home. He goes on his computer and he starts watching Pedigas videos of little boys being raped. You don't know how many lines of cocaine he does when he goes home. You don't know because you're living in a society that is eating you inside out. It's asking for, pri it's asking for privacy to do the things no one will think it will do. When you ask for privacy, it's for you to kill another person. It's for you to destroy another Haitian. When these people ask for privacy, it's for them to do what your mind does not wonder about. The unthinkable. So just because you ain't thinking about it yet, doesn't mean it's not happening. You got to become accountable for your traditions. Because the Haitian people, you know what they do? They call on tradition when it's convenient. I'm going to give you a very simple ex example. Let's take a Haitian adult who is not respecting himself or herself. This is an adult who's not respecting himself or herself. So this adult is stepping out of line. This adult is stepping out of boundaries. But let's say me, a younger person, were to put that old bat in his place or her place, then that old bat will call on traditions. But that old bat forgot the tradition that tells you when you're an old bat and you don't respect yourself, any little child can play in your beard. Haitians call on traditions when it's convenient, when it's convenient to just to justify personal gain, when it's convenient to justify personal matters, when it's convenient to justify personal deeds of hatred, personal deeds of calamity. It's all a bunch of calamity, Jane, thought, hoes, ratchet, behaviors, movement. And when it's convenient, y'all drop each other in hot grease. Haitian traditions are not going to keep themselves. It's going to take the Haitian people to keep the traditions. And if we are not investing in the people, then the people will not be equipped with the right type of education that is backed down with logic to keep those traditions going. <sighs> Good morning, everybody. Of course, this is going to be shared on all my, on all my, um, my social media networks without hesitation. For a society to be able to uphold its traditions, its mores and mannerisms, for a society to be able to do that, it really has to have citizens who are dedicated to the forward progress of that society, not citizens who are dedicated to making a backward, backward. It's always a backstroke with the slave movement. I don't appreciate slaves. I don't like slaves. If you post a picture of slave on my timeline, I don't have to know you. I'll be like, wow, fuck the slaves. I don't celebrate slaves. I don't need the spirits of dead slaves dancing around me. They are cowards. Without the slave movement, we would not be here today. If all the slaves had killed themselves, then their bloodline would not be here to trouble the responsible, the respectable, melanated folks of the Western Hemisphere. So I don't celebrate slavery. Fuck a slave. Fuck the descendants of a slave. Who the fuck you be? That's how I talk about a slave. When I see a slave, I say that way. Straight to the north, go that way. That's how I talk to a slave. I don't value slavery. Slavery is not a motivation for me. I don't care how many Phyllis Whitley you've read about. I don't give a damn. When you possess with the Phyllis Whitley syndrome and you're walking around playing with white bitches' hairs, I don't value you when you're walking around the globe seeking the, the, the hairs on the pubic of other females to hang on your head. I don't value those movements. My compass is the sovereignty of my own sake, first and foremost. When I have time for charity, of course, I have to extend my devotion to my people, to the youth of my country. Because without their development, we will not have any traditions in 10 years. We will not have survival in 10 years. We will not have a country worth calling our own because we will be made foreigners in our own country. Because right now, Haiti has been built. It's been constructed for the comfort of foreigners. It's the foreign order. It's the foreign establishment that has been there for years. So when you want to, be, when you want to call yourself a true Haitian, ask yourself, what am I contributing to upholding my own traditions? Because we don't all have 100% traditional life. We don't. But we do have general responsibilities. We do have accounts 
to keep up with. So when you neglect your own account, it's all bogus for you to think you have a grasp on reality when you neglect your own account. We cannot all keep up a full cup. Even if, you, even if, you, if you're in the habit of fetching water, you cannot bring home a full pail if you fill it to the top. So even if you're fetching water, you can't fill it to the top. But these people are so greedy. They are living such moronic lives, such banal lives. It's all for, prop, for personal property, for personal gain, and for personal gain, and for the upliftment of what social ranking, of what social class. Without wealth, there is no social upliftment. Just because you're hanging around with a bunch of macaques and you all dance the same, it does not mean it's a tradition, macaque. There are real ways of measuring progress. Progress does not mean that you made a way in my house or finally you know what I'm about or what I'm doing. That's not progress is. It is progress for your narrow mind who sees no further than your nose. Progress is when you can invest in the people. Not in more buildings. Not in more, like, you, you know what? You can build more roads. Because once you invest in the people, they will be with such devotion, they will build the roads. They will not be waiting for foreigners to give them roads. Once you invest in the people, they will, be, they will bear such real pride. They will bear the spirit of work. Work is liberty. And they will build their own roads. Once you build the people, they will build their own hospitals. Once you build the people, they will build their own children. I must depart, y'all. Our Haitian tradition surviving modernization. There's a little song that I know. This little song, I learned it doing community work with other women of other cultures, doing, um, getting, also getting training to do community work. And the song goes like this. Come we as a come, come we as we come. We don't want no moderation, no. Come we as a come. Come we as I come, me don't want no moderation, no. Come we as I come, come we as I come, me don't want no moderation, no. Come we as I come, come we as I come, me don't want no moderation, no. Sometimes when your country is ready to develop, Sometimes when your country is ready for modernization, you have to be able to say no to certain things because not all steps of modernization are for your benefits. If modernization is going to happen in the logical, quote logical, logical sense of life, the first people to modernize are the people. The first things to modernize, the first aspect, the first institution, the first area to modernize or the Haitian people without giving the Haitian people real education, real access to life, real access to real life, we will not be going anywhere. It doesn't matter how many Haitians have made it for their individual glory, it matters. For the glory of the country, it does not matter. For the survival of traditions, it doesn't matter. When you as an individual make steps forward, it matters not. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If you ain't sharing, people ain't caring. And it's, you got to be careful what you share. Is it wise for you to share AIDS? No. If you have AIDS, is it a public matter? No. If you begin to, to share AIDS, yes, now it becomes a, a public matter. You people have to begin to understand there are separations to life. You cannot start mixing public and, 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 and privacy and, and public life and private life and thinking that you're doing something that is worthy. The only thing you're going to do is, is really drop morality. You're going to drop morality. And furthermore, if you really care for your country, if you really care to upgrade your country, to build your country, build the people first. The people are the first goods. They are the first area of interest. They are the first. If you should develop anything, it should be them, them first, them, the Haitian people, not buildings, not more constructions, not more, not to begin constructing more roads and to abandon them. Build the people and stick to the people. Let the people 
develop themselves, support the people to support themselves, support a real movement of building people, building the youth. The people are the first investment worthy of development, worthy of modernization, because if they do not understand it, they do not have a grasp on reality. If they are going to social media for impression, then how can they have a grasp on reality? When popular modern culture has just invaded all of us. If you don't have distinction, if you don't have the type of logic to discern, you have to be able to discern between what is applicable for your country's survival, for, your, for the survival of your own traditions, for the survival of the people. Without the people, without the Haitian people, there is no Haiti. So within the next 10 years, the Haitian traditions will be gone. It will be, it, it's already a foreign state, but you will see it will be for the primary reason of serving foreign entities, not for the survival of Haitian people, not for the, for the betterment of the youth 50 years from now, 100 years from now, not for you to keep your own identity, let alone your own wealth. You won't be able to keep anything. Bonjour Claire, merci. Bonjour Angel. Bonjour à vous tous, écouteurs. Bonne journée à vous tous. Bon lundi, bon semaine de travail à vous tous. Ok, moi même moi levé longtemps parce que je suis venu pour me dévouer l'école. All right, les gars, um, please pay attention to what you investing your time in. Are you investing your time in building yourself? Or are you investing your time in building an image of foreign, uh, I would say foreign, um, foreign mannerism, foreign traditions, because you have to understand the United States has its own tradition. It's a young culture. It's a young tradition, Bonjour Nederland, but it's its own tradition. And you have to understand the people who really destroyed themselves to create this mainstream popular image of America, who destroyed themselves to create it? Are you going to destroy yourself to keep it, keep it on, to sustain it? Or are you going to hold on to your traditions? by educating your own citizens, your own people. Educate them to understand real life does not mean focusing on all things foreign. Yes, you can wear a flag. I like to wear an Italian shoe, but I also like to wear a sapat. I like to wear a nice, a nice church hat, but I also like to wear a, a chapeau pie. Like I appreciate my traditions juxtaposé any other tradition. And walking away from my tradition and, and adopting foreign mannerism does not make me a better Haitian. When I, when I collaborate with foreigners to destroy my own Haitians, it doesn't mean that I have relations. It doesn't mean that I know people in high places. Because the people that I bring in high places, they are bringing the destruction of my own people. So how can I be a valuable Haitian when I'm collaborating with foreigners who don't mean no good to my people, who are coming to rob the youth, who are coming to rape the youth, who are coming to bring destructive mannerism? You really have to check yourself when you say you're an educated Haitian. You have to check your function. Conjunction. Junction. What's your function? What is your function, bitch? Every now and then you got to ask, what is my function? All right. Merci, Nederland. Okay, les gars, um, have a great day. Feel free to share this with all Haitians. With all Haitians, with all concerned Haitians. <laughs>